and now we go to Cisco Unity Connection Administration to complete the integration. We will go under Telephony Integration and select Phone System. We have, we have here the default phone system. When you click on that, here you can change the phone system name if you have different clusters, but we will keep the default one and we will keep all the default settings. We will not change anything. Then we need to go to port group and add a new port group. He, from here you will select the phone system that will add a port group for it then you will select the port group template which is the signaling protocol that it is going to use you have SCCP and SIB and we will use SCCP the display name is a descriptive name for this port group you can keep it as the default the device name prefix is the integration name as it is, can be found on CUCM under the ports which is Cisco UM1-VI you don't need to add the port numbers Cisco UM1-VI and here the message waiting indication on extension which was 17103 and message waiting indication of that was 7104. The IP address or host name of, or of your primary CUCM server, not the publisher CUCM server, this is a primary CUCM server. And then we'll click on save. Now we will go from edit servers and here you will see a list of the servers that you have. This is the Cisco Unified Communication Manager servers. I already added the primary server, the 192.168.159.20. I will add the second server that I have 192.168.159.10 and I'll give it an order of 1. You have an order from 0 to 10 where 0 the higher or the highest priority server. So this is the first server that Unity Connection will try to integrate with first and if it was down it will select try to integrate with the second server as for this option it is the TFTP server I'm gonna just adjust it to the publisher server and then I click save update servers on the advanced settings we don't need to change this default uh, settings unless you have a specific requirement for changing this final step is to go to ports and add your ports first thing you need to specify is the number of ports that you have and we have only two by license so then you will select the phone system that you integrating with and the port group that you will use and the server that will associate the ports to. I have only one Cisco Unity connection server but if you have two servers you have the option to select which server these two ports belong to and actually if you have two servers you need to create the same number of ports for each server. This is the port behavior as what this port capabilities are gonna be answering calls is receiving requests from CUCM 
perform message notification is sending notification when you have voicemail to a phone number or to a pager sending message waiting requests which is uh, uh, sending the message waiting indication on and off and allow trap connection if you have a lot of ports then the recommended way is to configure most of the ports as answering calls and keep some phones as performing message notification and message waiting indication and trap connection so I'll, if I if, if I have like 20 port I will give 18 port to answering calls only and then I will add two ports to perform message notification and send message waiting request this will make it more uh, more quicker for the unity connection to find the ports for message wait waiting indication and for the security mode I will make it non secure and then click save we have to wait a little bit until the Cisco Unity connection uh, add uh, the sports now the ports have been added after the ports has been added there is nothing to check we can go to ch check the telephony configuration by pressing on go and this is going to check whether your configuration are correct or not and it will give you uh, an error if there is anything that is missing from the configuration and here sure enough it gives us no problems detected and if you go to the port itself you can even check the ports itself and test the ports System one five port and port two. Let's just uh, go to the port group and reset ports. Reset the ports and then let's go to the ports itself again and check the port. This the ports again. Okay. Ah, the reason of this failure because uh, it's asked you for the IP address of the primary server, and my primary server is actually my subscriber and I'm turning it off since I don't want to have more processing on my laptop but you can see here that it is registering to 192.168.15.10 and if you go to the voicemail system to voicemail port and check you will see that it is registered with 192.168.15.10 which is the second server and you will see the IP address of the Unity connection so uh, if I if I had the subscriber uh, on, uh, I will not see this uh, error. Just to make sure that our configuration are correct, I have a soft one here that is uh, connected to my CUCM. And this is uh, IP Blue soft one. It's not the Cisco communicator soft phone
sure enough it is registered and when you see I have clicked on the message messaging uh, sorry for that. when I click on the message button it ring the unity connection wow and sure enough it is working fine if I had another phone I could also uh, forward this number the 500 to voicemail and then bring the 500 and it should go to the voicemail uh, I did not create any voicemail boxes for this extension so when you see when I press on the message button it is going to the general greeting it's not going to the mailbox itself it is going to the general greeting since I don't have voice mailbox for this extension um, and now our integration is done thank you all for listening